In this demonstration, we're going to talk about updating the Sage Intelligence License Manager. You will need to update the Sage Intelligence License Manager anytime any information on a user is changed. That can include a user, an existing Sage Intelligence user who has a new workstation, or when an existing user is no longer the Sage Intelligence user and maybe another employee is taking over that position. So here's how we do it. We first go into Sage Intelligence Reporting and we go into License Manager. Once License Manager opens up, you'll see a number of, inf of pieces of information. You can see in this example, Connector is licensed, the Analysis is licensed, we have one Report Manager license, zero viewers, and a Report Designer is licensed. You can also see the list of users in this box. In this case, there is only one. So in this example, we have user admin running the report manager from the OPE Citrix workstation. So in order to make any sorts of changes, you simply click delete if you want to eliminate this line. We're eliminating this line because although we're still going to be using the admin user, that user is no longer going to be hypothetically using the OPE Citrix workstation. So you simply click Delete and then you click Add. From the Add License dialog box you select the user, in this case it's going to be Admin, and then you choose the license type which would be Report Manager or Report Viewer. We will choose Report Manager and click OK. Now you can see the user admin is now listed, but there is no workstation. So if the user admin had gotten a new workstation and we didn't do this step, then when that individual went to open the report manager, they would get from the new workstation, they would get an error message saying that the workstation is not the correct one for that license. So this is how we remedy that. So we're finished here and we're just going to click um, we're just going to click close. Now all we need to do is open the report manager and that will update the license manager with the new workstation. So I'm going to close the report manager and I'm going to reopen the license manager and you can see that the workstation field is now updated. Of course in this example we deleted and then recreated from the same workstation. In your case you would be doing uh, opening the report manager from the new workstation that would be updated. That is how you update licenses in Sage Intelligence.